Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is lock polishing time and not lock picking time. And what I brought you here is a master lock 175, which was given to me by Rick Wales. So thanks Rick again. Okay, 175. And as you can see, this was probably hanging around in the weather for quite some time. I just uh, scratched it with a little piece of sandpaper just to show you the original color and when we are done it should look uh, something like this and yeah okay so here are some of the items you will need something like this wd-40 or any other lubricant that has also some uh, yeah cleaning actions to it and we are going to use a dremel tool which is also very handy for this uh, with one of those uh, polishing wheels on there. You can get them in different sizes. There's the small one that I just showed you, or you can also get these slightly bigger ones. They come in different colors and uh, yeah, the colors mean how hard they are and uh, these are pretty soft. So they give us a really nice and shiny finish. And also, what they give you with the set is polishing compound, but you could also use uh, polishing that you can do on your car. And of course, we need some kind of paper. So, take this, take our dirty, dirty lock, and we also take some sandpaper. This happens to be a grid of, what is it, 1200. Okay, so this will be our first step. And we take our lock, just rub it a little bit around here, and then it's already a lot shinier. And after that, we're going to finish it off with a Dremel tool. The 1200 grid is probably uh, one of the aggressive, uh, some, some, some more aggressive, then you should get, but this is really, really dirty. So I'm sticking with that and uh, yeah, I don't have something smoother. Uh, 1500 to 3000 is what they recommend. 3000 is uh, used for polishing and you can use it to polish your picks. So let's get to it. Just rubbing our lock. Okay, so give it like 15 to 20 strokes and you can see already, if we can get some folks going here, what a difference that is. This is the side we worked on and this is the original look. So just flip it over. And again, we have no focus. Okay, and don't worry too much about the scratching right here. We are going to get this out with our Dremel tool later on. So a little bit over there, over there. Flip it over to the other side, do it the same. And if we take a look at our sandpaper, this is, uh, the camera doesn't pick that up so good. But as you can see, it's already starting to get really colored. Okay. This is what it looks like from the front that we've gone over with the sandpaper. And this is how the back looks like. So already, already a huge difference. Now we go to the back side, do the same. Okay. okay this already looks a lot nicer. And 
And now we open it just to make sure that we can also get the top right. With all of the other edges, edges and stuff, we also will have to go over because it looks a little weird when the whole lock is really shiny and then those edges right here are weathered or stay weathered. Okay. Lock it back up. Okay, maybe I speed that step up a little bit in the video editing. We'll see how long it takes. Okay, this is how the lock, come on, looks like by now. So, huge difference. And now we are going to take our polishing compound, just rubbing this over all over the face of the lock. Okay, like so. Then if you have one, take your Dremel tool. Otherwise you take, uh, yeah, some, some cotton or whatever and then rub it in. Okay, take this off and this is relatively close to the final result. So we made that a nice looking master lock again. Okay, master locks, <laughs> they do look nice, but they're not very secure. Okay, then we take our paper and just going to spur, squirt a little bit WD-40 on this or on the lock. Then also rub this in. And just look at this paper towel. So this is what we want to see. Because now all of this polishing compound and the rest of the dirt and the tarnish and all that comes off. It's starting to look fresh again. Okay, wipe this really good. And this is what the fresh faceplate looks like. And just to compare, this is what the bottom looks like that we did nothing on. And hang on, I'm going to pause the video and grab another lock just to show you. Okay, I probably should have done that before we start the video, but this is just another brass padlock that I own. And yeah, before we started, it looked virtually identical. And I have also gone onto the side here just with a 1200 cent paper without all that polishing and stuff. And yeah, now let's just finish off this master lock. I'm going to keep recording and speed this up and I'm going to show you the final result at the end.
Okay, I'm back again. I'm sorry, my uh, neighbor just ran over and uh, borrowed a drill bit from me. So don't worry. I changed the tip of the Dremel tool. Before we had this little wheel and now we have this big one. So this should give us some advantage. Okay guys, this is probably the best that I come up with at the moment, but you see now it looks really really nice and shiny again. Not quite as this new one, but I think uh, for 12 minutes of your time that's definitely worth it and also looks a lot better than this Abus that I had no chance to clean, uh, to clean yet. And also if you just look at the side, this is what you can do with sandpaper alone. And this is if you have a Dremel or some cotton and WD-40 to wash and clean this all off and polish it a little bit. Then it will look very, very nice. And I'm going to put a video in the video descriptions uh, because Potty314 made a very good video of how to clean a look uh, a lock in detail and yeah you should definitely take a look at that so thanks for watching that's it for today bye bye